Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can manage apps inside a secure folder on the Samsung Galaxy S 23 series. First, tap on the home button to go back to the home screen. Then from the home screen, swipe down at the top and then tap on the settings icon. In the settings page, scroll down and tap on security and privacy. After that, we go down and tap on secure folder. Now sign into your secure folder with a fingerprint or a pin or password. Then go down to the general section and tap on apps. In here, you'll be able to manage all the apps that has installed on your secure folder. So go down the list here and you can say open up an app. In here, you can manage notifications of the app. So you can set your, the notifications in the secure folder to silent, allow sound of vibration. You can choose which type of um, notifications it can use. So we've got lock screen, batch, and pop-up. You can also choose whether to show lock screen notifications uh, when it is inside a secure folder. So that is notifications. You can also manage permissions for the apps inside secure folder as well. So you can see here for the camera, it has um, on the icon, it has a blue folder. That is to indicate the app is within the secure folder. It is act, it acts as a, a separate app from the outside, from apps outside of the folder. So in here, uh, with this particular app, it has access to camera, microphone, nearby devices, notifications, photos, and uh, videos. So you can choose whether the app can uh, access the microphone or not. So you tap on that and from here, you can choose which permission the app can use, such as don't allow microphone for the camera app inside a secure folder. I have to ask for your permission every time you try to use it. All right, so that is permission. And then in, down here, you can set uh, the app as the default. So when you're in the secure folder, you can choose which camera app to use as the default. And other things such as uh, mobile data settings, you can choose whether you can use mobile data while it is on, uh, while it is in the background. And um, you can view battery usage and storage usage for the uh, for the particular app in the secure folder. And that's it. So up here is the more button. If you tap on that, you can manage uh, permissions and special access. Uh, within the secure folder. So if you tap on permission manager, this permission manager only uh, shows apps related to the secure folder only. As you can see down here at the bottom, it shows a blue icon. This indicating this permission manager uh, only affects uh, settings within the secure folder. And the other one is special access, which is very similar. Uh, all, permission, all special access permission uh, only apply to the secure folder. If you want to install additional apps, you need to open up the secure folder. You need to sign in with a PIN or password. And once the secure folder has opened, if you want to add an additional app, you can tap on the add button and then go down here and uh, select an app that you want to add and then tap on add. This will allow you to add more apps to the secure folder. And vice versa, if you want to remove, simply touch and hold on the app and then tap on uninstall and that will allow you to remove the app from the secure folder. Other things that you can do is tap on the more button at the top here and from the pop-up menu, you can lock and exit, add files to the secure folder. You can also go to settings by tapping on the settings here. So this will take you to the secure folder settings page. And that's it. That is how you can manage apps in the secure folder on the Samsung Galaxy S 23 series. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel for more videos.